Hi. In the first part of this series, we familiarized ourselves with general crossovers controllers and operations with bands. We've also learned a classic frequency split crossover. All other types of crossovers found in multiband plugins from Melder Production are rather exotic and unusual. And the first one is the level. What it does is send an input signal into a band according to the level parameter. I'll show you what I mean. Here is the three band version in Mbit Fun NB. First thing to notice is the horizontal axis doesn't show frequency values anymore. Instead, it's expressed in decibels, giving us a hint that we are dealing with the signal's level. Also, these bars represent crossover levels, not frequencies. The crossover has a special parameter named level. When I'm moving it, we can see a white semi-transparent bar moving on the crossover's background. Its position indicates which band is currently receiving an input signal. For example, if I set it here, the third band will receive it. The other two may receive it too, but not as much as the third one. That leakage, so to speak, is defined by the level slope parameter. At 0%, the leakage is very high, and at 100%, it's almost none. All right now, when we know the theory, where can we find a use of such a crossover? We can use it for gradual transitions between different effect settings. In the next example, I'd like to add the Mbit fun to a song. I want the effect getting more and more aggressive as the song is ending. To achieve that, I used the six band level crossover in Mbit Fun NB. The first band has no effect, it simply passes the input signal through. The second band performs a little bit of distortion, and the higher the band, the more distortion there is. I set the level slope to my liking. Next, I link the level controller to a multi parameter, and I'm ready to go. Could I get that effect another way? Well, I could organize buses in my DAW with different Mbit Fun presets, then automate bus faders, but it's much more time consuming. Could I get the same effect in a single Mbit Fun instance? No, because morphing between different bit states is technically impossible. Another exciting way to control the level parameter is to link it to a modulator. In the following example, I've built a delay effect in the mDelay MB that randomly sets delay times. What you can see is a four band level crossover feeding four delays. Each delay has different settings. I linked the level parameter to the LFO modulator with a random waveform. Now, mDelay MB will randomly send an input signal into one of four delay effects. Unlike a classic delay effect, this one doesn't create a groove. I'd say it is somewhere between a delay and reverb effects and can be interesting for a sound design. In the following example, I'd like to show a two level dynamics processing. Here is a piece of film music. The first part is very calm and tender. It serves as a background for a dialogue of two lovers, so it's quiet. However, the second part is full of passion. Lovers have to kiss each other, you know, and it's loud. To control the dynamics of such a track, I've come up with a compressor which works rather as a leveler for the quiet part and is much more aggressive for the loud one. Here it is. 
I used a two-band level crossover whose level parameter is controlled by the follower modulator. I set up the first band to be very slow on level changes. However, the second band's reaction is much quicker, similar to a classic bus compressor found in mixing desks. If I play the music, you'll notice that the level parameter makes some erratic fast moves. I'm not worried about this behaviour as long as it stays within the band's limits. My only concern is, when the music is changing from quiet to loud, the level parameter must jump from the first band to the second one. Again, I could do this in my DAW by splitting music in two independent tracks, then applying two different compressors to each of them. Finally, mixing them back. But as you can see, there is a quicker and potentially better sounding way. I'm sure you'll come up with much better ideas. Thanks for watching.